Ex-offender Shahid Curry spent three and a half years in state prison for selling drugs. He served his full sentence, so he was released without supervised parole. The 31-year-old insists that put him on the short track back to federal prison. It's something retired Asbury Park Police Lieutenant George Corbin says he's seen often throughout his 25-year career. The ones who just, just tossed out, dumped into the community that created their criminal activity, they're more likely to go back to prison. A report from the Pew Charitable Trust indicates in 2012 nationwide the number of prisoners who maxed out, meaning they completed their full sentence and were released without supervision, was more than one in five or 22 percent of all releases. In New Jersey, 41 percent of prisoners maxed out in 2012, which is the ninth highest rate in the nation. The prevailing philosophy used to be that we should just kick inmates out the back door. What we're finding out from research is that if we're serious about public safety, we've got to have more effective strategies. A November 2013 report from the Pew Charitable Trust on the impact of parole in New Jersey indicates supervised parolees perform better than those who maxed out. Parolees are 36 percent less likely to return to prison for new crimes within three years of release. Curry was released from federal prison early with three years supervised release. It was during that time he met business owner Arnold Fallhaber, who decided to hire Curry. Everybody needs a second chance in life. And I saw in his eyes that he was a family man, that he wanted to do the right thing. Now I'm making myself a career building a fence, and I'm good at it, very good and love it. So that's what basically made me change. But these community leaders insist supervised parole is only part of the solution. Fallhaber recently launched a prisoner reentry program to assist ex-offenders transitioning back into the community. He's joined forces with the Asbury Park Community Action Network, a grassroots organization comprised of faith-based business and community leaders determined to stop the vicious cycle of violence in their Jersey Shore town. The team created committees to address health issues, job hunting, public safety, and more. The Community Action Network and the reentry program are working together to create a Monmouth County resource manual for released ex offenders. A big part of the program is employment and convincing business owners to take a chance on the previously incarcerated. Crimes start from nine to five. With this nine to five, everybody's safe, everybody go home. The next day, you're still living your life. Meantime, the Asbury Park Community Action Network plans to launch a community forum against violence in July. In Asbury Park, I'm Lauren Wonko and JTV News.